Hey guys, Ben here from the Fiberglass Factory. Today we're going to be talking about washing out brushes. Here's a brush that I've just finished with and I'm just going to show you how I'd wash it out if I was at home and I wasn't in the factory setting here. So I'd have a clean container, something like so, and then I'd put a little bit of acetone in it. Actually, before I do this, I'd scrape as much of it out of, as I can. Or put it on the ground or something. Now, you need to do this a number of times because you're just not going to keep the brush good if you just clean it once in a little bit of acetone. It'll go crusty, and then the next time you go to use it, it'll be useless. So, there we are, we've cleaned it once. We use disposable brushes, but we still get quite a few uses out of them. We could probably use a disposable brush for a week, using it every day, so it's quite economical for us. That's starting to get there. One more time. Brand new acetone again. When you go to use it again, it's going to be a little bit crusty, but the, the resin content is going to be so small that when you go to use it, it'll just free up again. But it won't be as good as a brand new brush when you go to use it until you actually start using it and freeze it up. It all feels very good there because it's not dry. Um, depending on how long you want the brush to last, you may want to clean off all the fibres and everything as well off it. But that's that. When you finish using a container, just leave a little bit of resin in the bottom and when that goes off, like this one, then you can just crack it out. And you can pull it out of the, out of the container like so. And the container is still good to use. If you leave too much resin in the container, then it'll get hot and melt the container. If you don't put enough resin in the container, or if you don't leave enough in the container, then it's really hard to get the resin out because it's, it's really thin and just, it's difficult. So yeah, you want to try and leave a mill or two in the bottom just sitting there. And you can get quite a few uses out of, like these are just three litre milk containers that we use that we get from the locals and it's fantastic thanks very much for watching don't forget to subscribe we'll talk to you on the next video